This is not an easy question, but this is from the new spec kind of stuff that we've got. So we've got this, this bowl, tells you the bowl is empty and that water is flowing into it. At time t seconds after water begins to flow into the bowl, the height of the water is h. There's nothing that interesting in those first few sentences. But we have been told that the volume has this formula here. Um, we then get told that the water flows into the bowl at a constant rate of 80 pi centimeters cubed per second. So immediately that is telling me that dv by dt is 80 pi. Every second, 80 pi centimeters cubed of water is going into the bowl. Um, the first thing it says is show that according to the model, it takes 38, 36 seconds to fill the bowl with water from empty to a height of 24. Well, if the height is going up to 24, I can find out how much volume that there is inside the bowl by doing the formula, which is 4 pi multiplied by 24 multiplied by 24 plus 6, which works out as, um, I think, 2,880 pi. OK, so that's the volume of the bowl when the height is 24. But we now want to know how long it takes for that to, to go up to it. So we're going to do, so the time that it will take is 2,880 pi divided by 80 pi, because that's how, how much water is going in every second. The pi's cancel, and it simplifies down to 36 seconds. OK, that's just part A for one mark. Part B is where things start to get a little bit more interesting because it's a sort of to do with the topic that we've just been doing. Shh. Find, according to the model, the rate of change of the height of water in centimetres per second. So we're going to try and find out what dhdt is. But before we do that, I think we should look at some of the things we've been given. We've been told that the volume is equal to 4 pi h h plus 6. You could differentiate this using the product rule. I probably would have expanded the brackets just because I could see it's going to be quite simple once it's been expanded. That should be a 24. And so dv by dh works out as 8 pi h plus 24 pi. I feel like that's definitely going to be needed to be used somewhere in the question, so I might as well work it out from what I've been given. We also know that dv by dt is 80 pi. Maybe that's going to be useful somewhere as well. The thing that the question wants me to find out is dh by dt. I'm going to split that into the two things that I have, which are dh dv and dv dt. Great. I know what dh dv is. And I know what dv dt is. Do I know exactly what dh dv is? No. I have to do 1 over that. So I'm going to have 1 over 8 pi h plus 24 pi multiplied by dv dt, which is 80 pi. Is there anything that you can see that can happen here straight away? Yeah, the pi's can cancel out. So let me just do that. And also, you can divide everything by 8. So instead of that being 80, it would become a 10. That will go, and that will become a 3. So if I actually just now write out what that becomes, it becomes 10 over <coughs> h plus 3. OK? Oh, the problem is we don't know what h is. We have been asked to find um, the, the value of um, dh dt when t is equal to 8. Ismail? Excellent. Fantastic. This isn't a triple one. This is what Ismail just said. We know that it's been flowing for eight seconds. And actually, there are two ways that we know what the volume is. One of the things is that we know the volume is going 80 pi every second. And it's going for eight seconds, so Ismail is right. We can find out how much water is in the bowl. We can then use the volume formula to say how high the water in the bowl must be to find out what h is, which then can go straight into this thing that we've got down here, and then we're done. So I'm going to just do what um, Ismail has just suggested. Let's take that to a different color. So when t equals 8, we know that the volume will be 80 pi 
multiplied by eight. That's every second, and there's eight seconds. So that's 640 pi. We also know that volume is equal to, using this, 4 pi h squared plus 24 pi h. So I can now say that this is equal to this. So that's 640 pi equals 4 pi h squared plus 24 pi h. Obviously, the pi's are going to cancel, and I could divide by 4 as well. But because I'm going to be putting this into a calculator anyway, I can then just use my equation solver in the calculator, and it comes up with two values. It comes up that h is either 10 or minus 16. I reject the minus 16 because the conditions of the question say it's between 0 and 25, and also it doesn't make sense to have a negative height. So h is equal to 10. Taking back in here, I can then say that dh dt is 10 over 10 plus 3, which is 10 over 13, or 0 0.7 something. 0 0.77, one second, centimeters per second. Shh, shh, shh. Hang on, hang on, please. Which bit, Mr. Kim? So we, we're being asked when t is equal to 8, and every second it says water flows into the bowl at 80 pi centimeters cubed. Every second. Every second. So I worked out that's how much volume is in the bowl. Then I used that to find out how much the height is. Wouldn't you tabs all over it? Wouldn't I? If t is 8, wouldn't you be at the bottom? No, this isn't anything. This is just to do with kind of the idea of common sense of 80 pi every single second, and it's been going for 8 seconds, so it's 640 pi. Oh, you were that 